So, this is how to replace a water pressure sensor on a Valent Ecotec Pro. This model was done with an F73 and an F75. The F75 was a differential water pressure when it, when it tries to kick in the heat, but we'll come to that in a sec. The F73 is just an overall pressure. Now, it, the, this isn't the only solution to this. There could be uh, other things such as the pump, heat exchangers, blockages. Well, this is quite a common one. So, the sensor itself is located just behind the snorkel there under the heat exchanger uh, there. First thing we do, First thing I do, whip that snorkel off, stick it to one side, and that'll give you a bit more room to play with. Um, we need to drain the boiler down, obviously there's water in there, so let's get it drained off, book it underneath, off we go. And I also take this opportunity just to recharge the expansion vessel, a bit of LDF on the uh, shredder valve afterwards, make sure it's not leaking, um, which will push just push more water out basically. You're going to lose a bit more when you take the sensor out, but it just gets rid of the bulk of it. So, which happy is finished draining. There's a little C clip just at the uh, side of the sensor. You can push it from the other side with your finger out there so you can get a screwdriver in, but I tend to use a bit of a uh, pair of offset on those pliers. There's your C clip. There he comes, which just leaves the sensor itself. Give him a little wobble. I'll just be a bit gentle. Um, you don't want to break anything and you just also making sure there is no excess water in there which there isn't here um, what tends to happen is a bit of crud that sensor just um, monitors water pressure obviously so when it kicks in for heating uh, it expects to see a, a rising pressure of about 0.2 bar if it's not getting it, it could be a dodgy pump but could also be the actual sensor that's monitoring it anyway crud in the housing like we say which just blocks up the sensor give that a bit of a clean out Excuse the quick video, man. It was Friday afternoon, I was in a rush. Uh, new sensor popped back in, and I can't do this one handed. C clip in the other side, and off he goes. And that's how you replace a uh, water sensor on a Valent Ecotech Pro. Hope that helps someone, hope it was your issue, and um, just give it a quick thumbs up or something, or whatever, if, uh, if it did help you out. Right, sorry it didn't last very long. I've said that a few times in my life. Right, have a good one, Ta-da.